Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so you guys have been pretty clear on what videos you like the best so far and it's been this Afghan loom. So it's been a while, it's been almost a year since I've used it. And I thought I'd make another one since you guys liked it and then I can show you how to cast on and then I guess you can just follow my journey from there. But I want to make, I'm not going to, it's not going to, it is November 1st and I want to make a gingerbread house looking blanket. So I'm going to start with the tan, but I know it's not going to be done by Christmas. But I will show you how to get started and let's go. I put the slip knot on. I have this pen that I bought from Joann's and it's for the loom. But you can use an old pen too. This one has a nice little metal piece that you take out and you loop it onto your yarn. Like that. And then you put it into the pen like this. Sometimes you gotta but fling it in there. So this piece comes out and then you just thread it like that. And then you can put this piece back on the back just like that. So then it's there, it doesn't get lost. Now we're gonna make our slip knot. So you just wrap it around your finger. I just am holding it like this wrap it around my fingers and then just bring it through like this. So let's put it on the peg that has the triangle on it. So we got it here. This is where my triangle is right there. So I'm just gonna loop it like that Tighten it up, but don't tighten it too tight because you're going to have to move this up over. So we got that started there. We have that there. I'm just going to tape this piece down because it's so that it's out of my way. So what we want to do is bring it to the back. And then we're going to come to this next one, come forward and back, back, forward, back. We're in the back, we're coming forward, go back, back, forward, back, back, forward, back, back, forward, just one. So your loops should always be on the outside and then you'll have like a line like that on the inside. So let's go all the way through and I'll stop before I get to the end. Then you want to go through and push them all down so you can get a second row in. Okay, we're on our last peg here. And you can see where I started, where I finished. I didn't keep going. So we're going to bring it around like this. And then we're going to bring it around again for this one and then bring it back behind this next loop. So bring it back and up, back and up, back, back. And you can go ahead and do a few at a time and then loop it over. Bring it down, loop it over, bring it down, loop that over, 
and then keep going. Or some people do the whole loom back around and then go and loop them all. Some people do one at a time. Where they just twist it. Loop it, twist it, loop it. Sometimes you have an issue if you want to do them all, the whole row. Sometimes if you don't have good tension on it, all of them will pop off and you have to redo it. Which, it's not difficult, it's just can be frustrating when you're working on it and then you have to redo stuff. And then always bring it back down so you can start your second row. The tips I have is just play with your tension. Sometimes your tension gets too tight and you can't get it up over the peg. Sometimes it's too loose and then they all pop off. Um, it's just really a matter of practice. Like my tip is stay with it. Keep practicing like any other thing. You got to practice, figure it out for yourself. Um, this did not come with the loom. I did buy this extra because the thicker handle, it helps my hand because when I crochet, it really hurts my hand sometimes and I have to stop. I can't crochet as long as many other crocheters because of that. So this one is supposed to help your hand. And then I bought the pin extra too. But enjoy your crochet or your, not crochet, your knitting loom journey and Leave me a comment if you like it, thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know if you want other stuff to see.